What was your best purchase this year? A Roomba. After having three spinal surgeries a few years ago, hoovering has been the worst. This bad boy has helped me more than you'll ever know. I got the Roborock robotic vacuum cleaner two years ago. And I spent way too much to get the extra features. Builds a map of Floplan. Can run at scheduled times. Can do individual rooms. Phone notifications to empty dustbin or clean sensors or replace brushes. But it's absolutely been a worthwhile investment. It literally changed my life. I can go close to a year without vacuuming on my own. But this thing makes it an absolute no-brainer. But the best thing about it is that it forces me to keep the floor clear, so it can run. I'd love those features. Mine just has the basic functions. But it's more than enough for me. There is one that also mops too. If I start saving now, I can probably get it in a 2022 sale. My mom had back surgery a few years ago. I'm getting her both a Roomba and a Scuba. I think that's what the washing one is called, as a gift for her retirement in a few months. I can't wait. Bought some pants a week or two ago. I've had only two pair for quite a while, and it will feel nice to have some more. Look at Mr. Fancipants here, owning three pairs of pants. We are not all Rockefellers, you know. You better watch who you're callin' Mr. Fancipants. I'm not saying it was chickens, but it was chickens. They eat weeds and table scraps. They give us eggs. They give us good compost. They are funny as all heck. They force me to go outside regularly. But the best part is they are really good for my family's mental health. Just hanging out with them. Which is especially needed this year. I bought 10 chickens in February. We had been planning on it since buying our property. But COVID-19 finally pushed us to do it. Love the orange egg yolks and my daughter loves to play with them. If you haven't already, get some dried meal worms for them. Chickens love them. $50 for £10 on Amazon. We always get the hat or temp brand ones. £10 is a massive amount of dried worms. I just got £6 and it filled my £30 cat litter box. It's amazing. Give the chickens worms further away from your back door than I do. Though, I made the mistake of just opening the door and throwing a fistful out and now my hens peck at the door for their ration of crack, which sets my dogs off barking. Squat rack. Took a long time to get everything set up, but it was worth the wait. Worth the wait. A good backpack. I didn't think it'd be so handy, but I use it every day, and it's knowing that I can just grab it and go instead of worrying about getting stuff gathered up or realizing I left something home that I needed. I'm mildly obsessed with backpacks. I don't even know how many I have, but definitely one for every occasion. Do I not have pockets and just need something to keep my phone, wallet and keys? I've got a pack for that. Need to throw my laptop and other work accessories in. There's a pack for that. 2 to 3 day trip? We are covered. Multi-day backpacking trip, I'm good there, and somehow I still want to buy more. Any recommendations? I love backpacks. A telescope. It's so incredible to see Jupiter moons and Saturn, and see that there is much more in the sky than meets the eye. Edit. Thanks for the awards. For those who intend to purchase a telescope, I really recommend to spend some time doing research. There are different kinds of telescopes and they used to depend on the purpose you have. A good telescope for viewing planets may not be the best for observing deep sky objects. A telescope may be great to use at home, but might be too big to travel with. Another might be easy to set up but not the best for astrophotography. It's really important to do some research to find out which kind better suits you. On December 21st, 2020 Jupiter and Saturn will align such that you can see them together in the same telescope, and even with the naked eye. It's called the Great Conjunction. Edit. To answer some common questions, it should be viewable from most anywhere in the world. In the Northern Hemisphere look southwest. In the Southern Hemisphere look south. The best time to view will be 30 minutes to 2 hours after sunset. If it's cloudy on the 21st don't worry. The 21st is just the date that they're closest. But since the planets move so slowly across the sky it should allow for similar viewing in the several days before and after the 21st. The planets will appear pretty low in the sky so try to find a viewing location where you can see as much of the horizon as possible in the proper direction. 
Since there are several nights this will be visible it's best to try early to find the right spot. Copy pasta from another editor. Donate your hard earned upvotes to charity. An inflatable stand up paddle board. Being able to drive to a lake and paddle around on the water for a few hours really helped me get through this year. Paddle boarding is so much fun and great for year abs and my dog rides with me. Too. It's fun hearing all the comments from the boaters look at that dog on the paddle board. I usually hate attention, but I love that. I'm those people. I totally wish I could get my pup to ride with me when we get the chance to rent a paddle board or kayak for an afternoon. She started getting horrible separation anxiety when I would go out, so I had no choice but to make her come, and she eventually started to love it. Now, she's hooked on it. My Great Pyrenees also tries to come, but with her weight and size. Comma. I can't take her out far. I impulse bought a massive cutting block from Mikey that lives on our counter for $14. We love it. Even if Ikey performed some sort of GD mind trick to get us to buy it, we came in for a desk. Ikey, hey. Your cheese needs a desk too. These are the horse devras you're looking for. Horse devors. A plane ticket to leave an awful ex. That's awesome. I'm so glad you were able to get away from them. I hope your life has improved. 3. Thank you. I started a new job the end of November. So money has been tight while waiting for my first paycheck. But other than that my stress levels feel almost non-existent compared to what they were around my ex. An oversized sweater. It's huge. It's so comfy. It makes me feel safe. You might like a comfy also. It's like an oversized sweater slash blanket. I just got one it's amazing. What is a comfy I want one. Lego. Keeps my hands and mind busy. Who cares if I'm 33. 33 year olds are their main clientele. Who else can afford Lego. Lego is nice. But it's also really damn expensive I gotta say. House. My wife and I were both WFH in a 500 square foot apartment which did not go well. We finally got a house with room to spread out, and it's made our lives much easier. I recognize this is not an easy whim purchase, but instead was one that we've been saving for 8 years for. This is mine as well. I haven't been bored at all, since there's always projects to do, and I actually enjoy being in my residence now. Same. Sold my condo and moved a little further from the city where housing prices aren't so astronomical. Having a backyard has been a game changer through this pandemic. No neighbors attached to paper thin walls. No one telling you what you can and can't do. Freedom to do whatever you want in your own four corners. Truly the best thing in life. I still haven't gotten used to the fact that I no longer have to hide my illegal fur babies. No random inspections that just turn out to be filter changes. No more smells coming from other apartments through the air vents. No more struggling to find parking. Or walking past the shirtless guy that clips his toenails on the stoop. Although, I do miss our electric bills from apartment life. They've tripled in the new house. I'm reading every one of these responses, like they are the customer on a late night infomercial, and it makes the comments way more entertaining. Especially the comments about therapy. Ten tenths. Would work through my fear of abandonment again. Whenever I feel like I need therapy. I just visit Reddit. I spend an inordinate amount of time here. I think everyone would benefit from a good therapist. I got lucky with my first shot. But you may have to cycle through a few. A Kindle. I don't read much. But I'm slowly starting to read more and more. Pro tip if you have a library card, try the Libby app. I rent library books there to read on my Kindle and it's awesome. Another good tip is, if you can't finish a book before it's due back, you can just put your Kindle on flight mode and the book will stay on it until you go back online. That airplane mode tip is utterly brilliant. Thank you. Bought an ice cream for a girl. We are tota now. My frozen heart melted. A new bed. I sleep so much better now. Edit. Just so I don't have to keep answering. I bought a Sealy. No this isn't an ad for them. Same. I didn't realize how badly we needed a new mattress. Mine wasn't terrible. Just too small. I'll let my dogs sleep with me. And trying to fit myself and 120 pounds of dog on a full sized bed wasn't very fun or comfortable. 
A soft close toilet seat. No longer will I be awoken in the night by the phantom midnight pooper. Have fun accidentally slamming any non-slow toilet seats you happen to encounter for the rest of your days. This. I make an ass of myself at friends and relatives houses. Consider the cost of your opulence. Op. I make an ass of myself in my own house. Only one of our two toilets has a soft close seat. Washing machine around the start of the pandemic. We used to haul the clothes to a laundromat and fold them there. Does a refinance count? Ended up with a 2. 375 rate and saving like 160 grand. Yeah buddy. Went from 4. 25 on a 30 years to 2. 75 on a 20 with zero money out of pocket. Payment is about the same, but ends 10 years sooner edit. 1. I don't know much about this. My wife and mother-in-law did it too. I think we just told our mortgage lender, Liberty Mutual, that we wanted to refi and would go elsewhere if they didn't hook us up free. I'm sorry I'm not more helpful, but going to your mortgage provider is a good first place to start. Same except 15. My principal and interest payments basically traded places. It's seriously super nice. It's like two third goes to principal with one third going to interest now instead of reverse. We were able to go from 26 years remaining down to 18 years and it's only $40 a month more than we were originally paying. Also, it saved us $150k over the life of the loan. If you are in a position to refinance, fucking do it. I'll listen to the commercials for months and finally said okay I'll look into it and holy shit it's worth it. Technically not this year, but in December 2019 without knowing what was around the corner. I bought a bidet. Little did I know what a great purchase it would actually turn out to be. Even without the pandemic it's probably the best purchase I've ever made. 